So today I'm going to show you how to find some of these amazing watch faces, how you can edit them, how you can make your own, and also how you can set them to your watch and make them a permanent part of your watch. But if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of tech videos, so if there's anything you'd like to see, let us know in the comments down below. So let's talk about Clockology itself. It's an app that you install on your iPhone that then sends an app to your watch. Now, there's a few things you need to know about Clockology. It's not gonna be a complete replacement for your Apple Watch. You're not gonna have the level of customization that you can with some of the Apple Watch faces, uh, some of the complications and some of the widgets and external apps that are all integrated into the Apple Watch faces you're not gonna have that. There's some limitations, which I'll explain in a moment. But basically, you have an analog or digital watch face that can be presented in a multitude of ways, which you'll see. Um, and you have the ability to pass through your health data. So, you know, your rings, you can put that data through, your battery meter, uh, you can change how the clock, date, time, all that functionality is shown. And, you know, for the plus part of it, um, you can actually add weather. So those features are all available within the Clockology app, but to do the weather, that's the paid subscription, which we'll talk about in a moment, but you have a lot of different ways of displaying all that different information. Um, one of the gotchas though about it is if you have a newer Apple Watch, an Apple 5 or an Apple Watch Series 6, um, those watches have always on displays. You need to turn that feature off to use Clockology to its maximum because by its nature, Clockology is just an app that's running on top of your Apple Watch. So it kind of replaces the, um, the functionality of the regular Apple Watch faces, but it's still just an app that has to sit on top of everything. So in the app itself, on your watch, you're gonna have to enable something called Stay Alive, which will basically make it an always on, always running app on top, but it will time out after a certain amount of time depending on your configurations. I think it's about 10 seconds or 70 seconds on the Apple Watch settings uh, so that when you uh, move your wrist or tap your screen, it will actually then show you that watch face for that period of time. So that's kind of a one limitation, but I think you'll find that Watchology, Watchology. <laughs> So I think you'll find that the, these trade-offs are probably gonna be worth it. And you'll know right away if you love it or if this isn't the app for you uh, because some people really love the always on functionality or maybe there's some complication that's available on the Apple Watch faces that Clockology doesn't provide that you're gonna need and you're gonna want, right? So going back to the complications, your health, your fitness, your heart rate, that all is available and showable on a Clockology watch face. Even if it's not on one of the ones that you download, you can always easily add it as well. So that's something that I really enjoyed about Clockology. I find a, a watch face that I really like. I can go in and just add one little feature or functionality that wasn't there by the original designer, um, but it gives me that little bit of data that I want on my watch all the time. And the nice thing is, is you can just change it anytime you want to, which is really kind of cool with Clockology. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the subscription part of Clockology. By default, it's a free app, but you don't have functionality for the weather. So that's what the temperature is, that's what the conditions are, you know, cloudy, sunny, that type of thing. Those functionalities won't exist on the watch face if you don't have Clockology Plus. Now, right now, it's a couple of dollars a month, or I think it's about $27 for the year to have the Plus feature. Now what this does is, aside from enabling that functionality, it gives the developers some money to actually keep developing the app, keeping up with Apple's changes to the, uh, the watch OS and also the functionality on the Apple iPhone itself. So I think it's pretty good value and for a couple bucks a month, I just love what this does to my Apple Watch. It makes me want to use my watch a lot more than I did before. I mean, I always wore it anyways, but now I, I'm really happy with how it looks and I can change it whenever I change my mood, change my clothes, whatever. You know, it's really easy to do that because you can just swipe through. Just like the Apple Watch faces, you can swipe through and have a, a, a roster of them there. There also is a new feature called Timeline in Clockology that allows you to set a schedule. So maybe you want to have a watch face for when you're in the office and then at five o'clock you have it switched to something that's a little bit more fun. You can do that automatically. So you can have multiple watch faces already installed on your watch uh, and then basically the timers will kick in at the appropriate time and swap them out for you automatically. So a really cool thing about Clockology is that it's actually compatible with all of the series from series one through six. But uh, basically you just need to have the latest watch OS installed for it to work. 
The other thing you're gonna need is something called Enable Beta. It's a little tiny file, like a watch face, that has to be installed. And the best place to get that is from the Clockology Fans Facebook group. That's also probably the best place to find all these designs and custom watch faces that people have been creating and sharing there. Last time I checked, there was over 250,000 members of this group and literally hundreds if not thousands of watch faces to choose from. There's a couple tricks though. So when you go there to, in, to get the files to do the install, there's actually a pinned post that shows you the entire step-by-step -step process to install it on your watch. And if there's any gotchas with a particular series, that type of thing, it'll all be listed there. They covered it way better than I can cover it here. Uh, and they have all the links to the files that you need. The other thing is if you're having any problems, use the search on that Facebook group because it's really good. Chances are people are having the same problem that you are and someone's already answered that question. It's also a great way to find a watch face that you're looking for. So if you're looking for a very specific type of watch, say Star Wars or Casio or Timex or any kind of watch face that you really like, just type in the search and it'll show you all the posts where people have shared those things. But an even better way, especially if you don't know what watch face that you want to install, go to the Facebook page and look on the, um, the uploads or the media section for the photos that people have posted because then you've got like a nice little tile view of all of the watch faces that people have uploaded in a really quick and scrollable view so you can find those interesting or colors or you know whatever patterns are you're interested in to find and then click on that to get to the post that has the links for the downloads right there. So it's super easy to do that. Once you've got it, all these things downloaded then, then you're gonna have them on your, um, your iCloud drive. So do this on a computer uh, and save it to your iCloud drive, your downloads folder on your iCloud drive, or Clockology creates its own folder on your iCloud drive once you've installed Clockology. The challenge there though is if you're using your phone to browse through Facebook and find a watch face that you want, you're gonna click on the link. It might be a Dropbox, it might be a Mediafire, it might be some other hosting site. Don't do that from within the Facebook app. Make sure that if you click on that link, it'll pop up. There's three little dots on the top of that little pop-up window. Make sure you open that link in the browser. So in this case, Safari on your iPhone. That'll download it properly and put it in the right place so that Clockology can find it. And then you'll have it to be able to edit or then sync to your watch itself. So now you've downloaded a watch face. What, what's next? Well, there's a couple things you can do. First of all, if you just click on the watch face itself in the Clockology app, it'll bring up a little preview and it'll take any data from your phone, like your location, your weather, the time, all that stuff, and whatever's on your phone will be shown as the demo version of the watch face. So it's a really good way to sort of make sure that this watch face is actually something you're interested in. So then you just swipe down to clear that. Then you go back and if you press and long press on that particular file in the Clockology app, you'll bring up a little pop-up menu. This is where you can do things like rename it, you can copy it, delete it. Uh, you wanna copy it if you wanna edit it, so just make a copy so that you actually have the original still. But the most important thing is watch sync, and that's at the bottom. You click on that, and then basically as long as you have your Apple Watch nearby and turned on and sort of ready to go with the Clockology app open, it's pretty simple. But let's say you wanted to change something about that watch face. You, you put it on your watch, it's like, oh, it's cool, but I really wish it was green or some other color or some other piece of uh, data was shown on that. Well, then you're gonna uh, do a long press again. And like I said before, make sure you make a copy of the watch face first, and you're gonna edit that. And then that brings up this big menu of all the little layers of information and widgets that are present on the watch face. So think about like a Photoshop layer. Basically, you've got this big sandwich of all these different things. And depending on what's on top, that's actually what's on the bottom. So typically you'll have like an image that'll be on the bottom of your, you know, your background. And then all the other things are layered on top. Well, in the Clockology app itself, when you're editing, that layer is on top and it works your way down and that's the sandwich is sort of inverted from the way it would make sense. So you're gonna have your, your uh, watch hands, for example, they'll be lower down on the list, not at the top of the list because then they'll be covered up by whatever's lower down. So hopefully that makes sense. It's easy enough to just hit the edit button and drag them up and down and sort of arrange their, their locations. Then you can click on each one of those things and you can even move them around if you show layer properties. You can also change things like colors change the font, you can change things like the, um, the type of display, for example. So whether you want to show just today's date, so you know, October 8th, or you wanna show October and eight, or you wanna show the full long form. So, you know, October 8th, 2021, that type of thing. Like you can show all that detail. It's just basically a little drop down slider that you can sort of cycle through. 
You can also create your own watch faces here from scratch. You can start from, you know, completely black, blank canvas, or you can actually choose from one of the sort of prefab templates that they've got there and use that as a basis. So you can also customize sort of the color palette that's included with that base watch face. Um, and then once you go in there, you can further customize those uh, color palettes as well by adding new colors. Once you've done those changes, you can also bring in other things. So if you hit the little plus sign, that'll bring up a big menu of other widget types. So everything from images and video, and also things like second hands, minute hands, hour hands, the date, the weather, all those different functionality. It's quite a long list and they, they seem to keep adding to it every couple updates to the Clockology app itself, which is great. Um, so once you've sort of picked from your buffet of widget options, you can then uh, you know, keep tweaking, saving, and then syncing your watch face that you just custom designed. So is there any watch faces that you would like to have on your Apple Watch that you maybe couldn't find on the Clockology fans page or that you know, need to have? I know for myself, I actually want some of my old smartwatches that I used to have, but I haven't found any good sort of assets to build that watch face quite yet, so I might have to shoot them myself. But you know, let us know in the comments down below, and while you're there, hit the subscribe button, and maybe even the bell icon to be notified next time we have another video like this one or this one. You know, they, we come up with them all the time, and we would love to hear what you'd like to see. It was loud. Yeah. Okay, great.